A student wore a Ku Klux Klan uniform to his school in California as part of a history project for which he received a teacher's permission. Photos posted on social media showed the freshman student dressed head to toe in KKK regalia walking around Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy in Los Angeles on Friday. He was dressed as Hiram Wesley Evans, a dentist who became the Imperial Wizard of the National Organization from 1922 to 1939 and who once oversaw a mug who branded KKK onto a black man's forehead with acid. Although other students dressed as historical figures, many felt the decision to appear as a violent white supremacist was out of line. Share this article share he wore it like throughout the school, like in nutrition, lunch, things like that. I don't think that's appropriate, Lance Dan Tignac, a rising senior, told ABC7. Another rising senior, Trinity Young, said she confronted the teacher who gave the student permission to come to school in the hood. It kind of rattled me, she said. It was hard to believe that she would allow a Klansman to walk around from her approval. So, we asked her, and she said that she compared the Klan to the Black Panther Party, which in my opinion, are two different things. So yeah, it was troubling. The Los Angeles Unified School District said it was investigating the incident. It added, LA Unified and Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy understand the extreme sensitivity around this issue and do not condone or support this type of reenactment. Who was KKK Imperial Wizard Hiram Wesley Evans? Hiram Wesley Evans was born in Alabama on September 26, 1881, and moved to Texas to study dentistry at Vanderbilt University. He set up a dental practice in 1910 and joined the Klan 10 years later. In 1921, while leader of the Dallas Klan, he led a mob who kidnapped a black bellop called Alex Johnson and burnt KKK on his forehead with acid. A year later he rose to the position of Imperial Wizard leader of the National Klan and oversaw a massive increase in membership to 4 million in 1925. He began to oppose vigilante actions in favor of trying to gain political influence and elect local and national officials. By the 1930s, the Klan was in crisis due to a rapidly declining membership in the Great Depression, which squeezed its finances. He resigned as Imperial Wizard on June 10, 1939. He continued commenting on Klan activities until his death in Atlanta on September 14, 1966. Source, Spartacus.